there. The Aquarius new moon on February 1st empowers you to align with your tribe. Now Aquarius is ruled by both Saturn and Uranus. Saturn is the past, Uranus is the future. They have been in challenging aspect with each other for all of 2021. They're still dancing, but they have a wide orb of separation now. This means the roadblocks, the setbacks, and the delays are over. Yay! This is good news. And Mercury is going to station direct on February 3rd. All of the planets will be direct starting February 4th. So for most of February, all of March, all of April, until May 10th when Mercury stations retrograde again. This is exciting. This is going to speed life up quite a bit. And we're going to begin to see great social progress, great social expansion. The single will be ready to mingle. <laughs> and people will be ready to meet up again. And it's going to be very exciting what's unfolding now. So we want to be ready for what's coming in because this new moon is speaking to a new life, a new journey. And it's about a new adventure. It's about new friends, new lovers, a new tribe, a new community, a new life. It's so exciting what's happening here in February. Now, Mars, the planet of action, energy, passion, desire, is trying Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius. And this is going to increase your passion Increase your courage. Think about what gives you passion now. Not what gave you passion six months ago or a year ago because you're not that person anymore. In this new year, it's about reinventing yourself. So meditate on what gives you passion now, what excites you now. Now it can also be something from your past that you forgot about or has been on the back burner and you're bringing forth now that you have a passion for. So it's all about following your passion clues to what you want and being successful this year. We're seeing the groups forming, the new groups forming, and I talked a lot about this in the Venus Mars video I did about Venus and Mars uniting for two and a half months. They're going to be uniting starting now at the February 1st Aquarius New Moon all the way through to the mid of April, middle of April. New groups are forming. New alliances are forming. New teams are forming. And you can see this starting right here at the Aquarius New Moon. You have Mars, Vesta the asteroid, Venus, Mercury, Pluto, Juno, all together in Capricorn. Then you have the Moon, Sun, and Saturn coupled together in Aquarius. Well, with Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Pluto in Capricorn, this is about your deeper passion. This is about going deep and really tuning into what your passion is now. And it's going to give you an extra boost of energy. This is so cool what's happening here because this new moon is about passion. It's screaming passion, passion, passion. And if you like this video, smash that like button. Let YouTube know that you have passion for this video and you want more passionate videos. <laughs> Yay! So I love what I'm seeing here at the Aquarius new moon. Mars is lining up with Uranus. And Uranus has the upper hand. Now Saturn's had the upper hand since October, October 11th when he went direct. And Uranus just recently went direct here uh, in January. 
However, Uranus is awake now and Uranus is in alignment with Mars and Jupiter and Jupiter expands whatever he touches and he is sextile Mars <laughs> and sextile Uranus. I always love to throw that in, make it more interesting. Sextile means opportunity. You need to take action, but when you do, the stars are aligning for you. And that's good news. So Uranus has the upper hand. Uranus is the liberator. Uranus is about freedom. Uranus rewards you for taking a risk and living authentically. Isn't that what Aquarius is about? I mean, Aquarius is about honoring our individual uniqueness. And that comes from being authentic. And Uranus with the upper hand is saying, go for it. Go after your wildest dreams. Be bold. Be brave. Take that leap of faith and you will be rewarded. Another cool thing that's happening here at the Aquarius New Moon is it's also the Chinese Lunar New Year. And it's the year of the water tiger. Now, in Chinese mythology, the tiger is the king of the beasts. He symbolizes power and bravery. And it reminds me of the song, The Eye of the Tiger. I always love to play that song right before I need to do something important or make that important phone call, get myself revved up and aligned with what I want. So play that song, The Eye of the Tiger, when you need to make that important phone call or you're about to make that important video, podcast, that important interview. Whatever it is you're about to do, align yourself and get yourself revved up by using the Eye of the Tiger song. Now, this is on for the entire year. So not only at the Aquarius New Moon here in February, but this is a year of risk-taking and adventure. People are going to be fired up now. They're ready to go. Expect change to happen quickly. Expect sudden changes in your work, in your relationships, and success comes from taking that leap of faith and trusting your intuition. Aquarius is a very intuitive sign. It's ruled by the star card, which is about being led by creator to your wildest dreams, to be inspired, to have hope in what you want and be enthusiastic about achieving that star. And destiny is working for you. I talk a lot about soul agreements in that video with Venus and Mars uniting together here in February, starting at this moon, going forth and going exact at the Leo full moon on the 16th. It's about the soul agreements. It's about the soul contracts. The star card is, is the energy that shows you that the angels, creator, your guides are behind the scenes working for you to bring you to your partner, to bring you to your partners, your new tribe, your new community, your new job, promoting you, promoting your business, promoting your work, and so on. And it comes from having trust in your intuition and listening, listening for the signs, listening for the voice of God so that you can be directed to be in the right place at the right time. Serendipity. It's alive and well in 2022 and this is great news. So take that leap of faith. Go after your wildest dreams. And if you crash and burn, fear not. If it not, if it not, you first succeed, try, try again. The alchemical word, the magical word is try. You don't always get it right the first time. Sometimes we have to go back and do it again. And that's okay because as long as you're not giving up and you're putting yourself out there and you're taking the risk and you're learning from your mistakes and you're getting better at what you're doing, you're going to succeed. You're going to win. You're going to have those breakthroughs. This new moon is about breakthroughs. 
to let go of what's no longer serving you, to let go of what doesn't give you passion. If it's not giving you passion, it's not part of your future. Uranus rules the future. Uranus has the upper hand now. This is about your future. Aquarius rules the 11th house of your hopes and wishes, your aspirations, sudden luck, sudden breakthroughs, sudden opportunities, opportunities coming out of the blue that you never even saw coming. You want to be ready for that. And you can't be ready if you're dragging the old into the new. This is about having both feet in the boat and going into your future. You don't want one foot on the dock, one foot in the boot, boat. <laughs> Mercury is so retrograde right now. Because when you do, then your butt ends up in the water. So take that leap of faith. Put both feet in the boat, sit in the boat, and let the water carry you forward. Let the river carry you. Let the currents carry you. Because you'll find the wind is in your sails. And it's all about being open to the new, trying something new, reinventing yourself in this new year, being bold, being brave, having that eye of the tiger. And what is so amazing about this Aquarius new moon, it takes place in winter in the Northern Hemisphere, but it's going to feel like a fresh breeze of spring air and that's good news that's exciting because as cold as it is in the northern hemisphere we welcome that fresh breeze of spring air now another amazing thing is happening here in um, February at this Aquarius new moon Jupiter the planet of expansion optimism he expands whatever he touches. He is sextile Mars. Woohoo! Sextile. And he is sextile Uranus. Sextiles are opportunities. And this is about large projects getting off the ground. So finally, the setbacks are over. The delays are over. And we're going to start seeing new groups forming. They can be small groups, they can be large groups. They can be two people, they can be four people, they can be 20 people, they can be 100 people. But we're going to begin to see groups forming and first there'll be 100 groups forming, then there'll be 1,000 new groups forming, then there'll be a million new groups forming. It's like that 100th monkey. Once you get to the 100th monkey, it becomes millions. And that's what I see happening here this winter and spring in 2022 and this is really exciting now Venus she's direct now she is done with her retrograde and this is about new values Venus is what you love and value and now that she's direct and she's coupled with Vesta the goddess of hearth and home this is about you setting new goals for yourself in this new year Perhaps you're moving to a new home. Perhaps you're moving in with someone or someone is moving in with you. This is about new relationships. So you want to be creating the space for your new life. And you can't do that if you're clinging to the old, you're hanging on to the old. You want to create the space for the new love to come in, the new job to come in, the new business idea, the new friendship, whatever your heart is desiring now, create that space. Venus is saying, create the space, set your intention, and think about what your goals are here in this new year, here in 2022. Now the divine lovers are flirting with each other here at this new moon. They're closer together Vester is with them. In fact, she moves with them through the next two and a half months. They will exactly couple together on the 16th, but they're flirting now. Venus is love. Mars is passion. So this is about 
new relationships and a new era in your relationships. Conjunctions are so powerful. They're new beginnings. New moons are incredibly powerful. Most people don't know that because when there's a new moon, it's like in the womb, you can't see it. You don't see it until it begins to crest 24 to 48 hours later. That's why everyone's always jazzed up about a full moon because you can see it in the sky. But new moons are new beginnings. Conjunctions are powerful transits that set the stage for a new beginning. And here in Aquarius, it is about new friends, new groups, new associations, new alliances, new relationships, and about going after your wildest dreams and making them come true. So we want to be open for this new era in relationships. And we want to use this new moon to set our intention for what we want to create in this new year, in this year of the water tiger. And water is about emotion. Emotion is about passion. So this tiger is fired up. <laughs> I don't mean me, I mean the water tiger. I am kind of fired up though. <laughs> but this is about a passionate year for everyone. A passionate new beginning. Passion in your life. Passion in your relationships. Passion in your work. So if you're already coupled, this can be a new energy coming in here. A fresh breeze, of spring air. A new passion in your business. A new passion in your job. Going for that new promotion. Going after something that really excites you. It can be a hobby. It can be something that you love to do. It doesn't matter whether you make money with it or you don't. It needs to be something that you're passionate about, that you're excited about in this new year. It's so exciting because this new moon is, is screaming passion, passion, passion about new groups forming, kindred spirits who share your values, each bringing a separate set of skills to the table. You don't want people that are exactly like you and do what you do because that won't make a greater whole. We want people to align together that bring separate skills to the table so that when we make that greater whole, it's powerful and effective because we've united and brought our talents, gifts, and abilities with each other to make it happen. Now don't forget to smash that like button because that lets YouTube know you want more of these videos. Yay! Another thing too is Aquarius reminds you to not be afraid of people that are different than you. God works in mysterious ways and he comes through, she comes through other people. And we want to be open-minded. We want to be open to people that are different than us or have a different philosophy than us or a different religion than us because they have something to give us. They have something to teach us. And if we're so closed and afraid of everybody and afraid of foreigners and afraid of people that are different, we're not the apprentice. We're not reinventing ourselves. We're stuck. And that's not what Aquarius is. The age of Aquarius is the age of freedom and enlightenment and knowledge. It's knowledge that is power. And the only way that we can do that is to be curious, to be open, to see life through the eyes of other people so that we can understand why they believe what they do or why they do what they do. We don't have to agree with it, but we can respect it. And when we do, we receive from it. We learn from others. And they have something to give you. They have something to share with you. So be open. It's really important to be open now, to be listening, to be curious, to be the apprentice. Yes, you're the master at what you do and you're maybe quite masterful in many areas of your life. But when we're reinventing ourselves and we're starting on a new path, down a new road, on a new journey like we are this year, 
we want to be the apprentice. We want to be listening. We want to be learning. We want to be curious. And you can't if you have a know-it-all attitude, right? So if like, oh, I know it all anyways. No, stay open. Because when you're open, you begin to see things you never saw before. You begin to learn things you never knew you could learn. And it enriches you and it expands you. Jupiter is about expansion of consciousness. And he is powerful at this new moon. He is working in harmony with the ruler of Aquarius, Uranus. And he's working with Mars. Power, action, energy, desire in this year of the tiger. So be open because you're at the beginning of a new journey. The past does not equal the future. Your future is determined by the choices. It's like Mercury is so retrograde right now. The choices you make in February, this spring, this winter, will determine your future. And that's why it's so important to stay open and be open and be humble. Because with Mars this strong, and he is going to couple with Pluto down the road here, and I'll talk about that when I um, come back, it can really rev up the ego. So... We want an ego. We need a healthy ego. You can't get anything done if you don't have a healthy ego. You can't put yourself out there if you don't have a healthy ego. However, the ego can go too far and get out of hand. But if we stay humble, I find I can get myself out of anything, anything I've stepped in, if I say, I am sorry, and be humble. In fact, people really like that. They will forgive you for screwing up or making a mistake if you say you're sorry and are humble so yes we want a powerful ego yes we want to go after what we want however we also want to keep that ego in check so that we're respecting everyone else and we are moving together moving forward together because that's what this is all about Aquarius is about large groups forming forming. Aquarius is about humanity. And this is a time where we're making major breakthroughs. If something isn't working for you, if something breaks down, that's the universe saying you're done. Get on that new path. Put yourself out there. Be open. See life as an adventure. And see your life as a journey. You're on this new adventure. And the reward comes from those who are taking risks. We're all moving up together. We're all moving forward together. Now, the only cautionary tale I would say here is, and this is what Saturn is reminding us, because Saturn is coupled with the new moon. And whatever we're committing ourselves to, these are long-term relationships. If you take on a new business or you get promoted into a new job, it's going to be a long-term commitment. You meet someone new this year. This could be a very long-term relationship. Saturn doesn't care what you commit to as long as you follow through with the commitment. And the best way to do that is to read the contract. Make sure that you know what you're committing to. If you meet someone new, do a Google search on them. Make sure they're as great as you think they are. Or if you jump in with a new group of people, do your homework. Find out who they are so that when you commit to this, you can make it a long-term partnership. You can make it a long-term commitment. Because it's very easy with Jupiter like this, in harmony with Uranus, in harmony with Mars, to have this irrational exuberance, this wild exuberance of excitement because things are going to start speeding up really quickly now. New opportunities are coming your way. New relationships, new situations. And we can get caught up in the newness of it and the excitement of it and not really look at what we're committing to. You don't want to get on the wrong bus down the road and go, "Uh uh-oh, I'm on the wrong bus. I need to get off the bus now. That's a lot more work and a lot more 
I am sorry, had you listened to Saturn at the new moon, who said, reality check, okay, I'm glad you're crazy about this person or you're crazy about this new group, do your homework. Make sure you understand who this person is, who this group is, what they're really asking of you, what you're committing to. Once you do that, then you're good to go. So yes, stay excited. Yes, be open to this new worldview you're getting because that's what it is. At this new moon, you're getting a new view of your life, a new view, and it's a wide vista, and it's taking you on a new journey. It's a new adventure. It's a new path. Things are going to be happening really quickly. Suddenly, there's going to be a lot of passion and excitement. You just want to make sure that you understand who these people are, who this person is, and what is expected of you, what you're committing to. And once you do that, then you're good to go and you're ready for this new adventure. And it's exciting. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking my videos. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. It helps to support the work. It helps to support the channel. And I'll see you soon.